so hello coders welcome to my channel and in this video i'll be explaining this problem maximize palindrome length from subsequence and you know to be honest it is a pretty tough problem but don't worry if you watch this video how to solve this problem the thought process and the algorithm is going to be crystal clear to you okay so without any further ado let's get into the problem so what the problem is saying is that you have been given two words okay and you have to make a subsequence using both of these words okay both not any one such that the subsequence that is generated is of maximum possible length and it is also palindromic okay so let's understand this through these three examples and you know if you see these three examples the approach will be more clear to you like what is happening actually so in the first example so this basically this string is the combination of these two words CACB and CBBA okay so I have to using uh, like uh, using this uh, this string I have to make a subsequence okay so what is a subsequence basically so a subsequence is like you have to choose like any uh, a su sequence of characters they may be continuous or not but they have to be in some fashion so in like continuous fashion so for example CAC B C B a this is a subsequence okay you can drop characters between or you can go continuous anything but but c c a b b this this is not a subsequence okay like this is you're going uh, back and forth so this is not a subsequence it should be continuous and it should be palindromic so you know like if we solve this problem like uh, if we calculate the longest possible palindrome using these two strings it is going to be a b c b a okay and it is of length 5 okay so this is what i have to return so if we look closely we see that this a b c b a is made by how how is this made okay so this is made like a b c b and a okay so if you see these characters so what is happening that a and b are from the left string okay and the cba is going to be uh, from the right string okay so like this subsequence this palindromic subsequence is made using both of these strings and this is the longest possible uh, lps okay so you know like this is a valid answer five okay then if we look for to the second example so in the second example, I have been given two strings, AB and AB. And if you see this, uh, what is going to be the longest palindromic subsequence? One is going to be ABA and another one is going to be BAB. Okay. So and the length is going to be three. So if we see these uh, two subsequence, so what we observe is that ABA is made like this and BAB is made like this. And you know, like AB, we are getting AB from left string and A from another string. So, uh, so like we are getting characters from these two strings and let's go to our third example that is double a and double b okay so if you find the longest palindromic subsequence in this uh, string you will realize that it can be either double a or double b okay so the answer should be two okay no the answer is zero but why it is because like if double A is coming from only this string and double B is only coming from this string. Okay. So I have to ensure that the subsequence that is being generated, the length, its length, it should come from both of the strings. Okay. Both of the strings. It shouldn't be from one. So uh, let's get into the problem. So, you know, this problem can be divided into, you know, it is a LPS problem. Okay. It is a basic longest palindromic subsequence problem. Plus, you have to ensure ensure that uh, the characters are coming from both of the strings. So, okay, let's get into the code. So, in the code, basically what I am going to do is that I am going to find the longest palindromic subsequence first. And then I have to ensure that uh, I am taking characters from both of the strings. So, let's first do the first part and write the lps code you know if you don't know what lps is i have explained it in another video you, so i suggest you to check that out if uh, it will be then you can understand this problem easily so let me just change these words to w1 and w2 and then i'm going to like write an int l is equal to zero and int r so this is going to be a recursive code okay int r is equal to s dot size okay so size minus one and 
and then I'm going to find the LPS okay so the LPS is going to be uh, what string s lr and then I will find uh, and make another string uh, another function int LPS string s int l int r okay and let me just pass this globally okay so in LPS what happens is that you know if let's so for any recursive problem uh, in dynamic programming like you have to two parts one is the base condition and another is the choices okay so let's write the base condition first so you know if what if int uh, if if l is greater than r so basically there is the left pointer to the string is more than the right pointer it means that the string doesn't exist so for example let's take this example for a race car if l should be behind r and you know like if l passes r it means that there is no string and in that case i just return zero and another case is if l is equal to r l is equal to r then in that case i return one because what it means is that there is only one character l is equal to r so for one character the length of the palindrome is going to be one and then are going to my be my choices so what if sl is equal to sr so if sl is equal to r it means that return uh, okay now let's uh, just let me make one more variable int length is equal to zero that is going to be the length of the palindrome so uh, if that is uh, the case if sl is equal to r then basically what it means that uh, length is equal to 2 plus lps of the remaining part s comma l plus 1 comma r minus 1 so it means that my two characters are meet, uh, matching so for example take this case in race car my r and r are matching so it means that okay the poly, whatever the palindrome is going to be i am sure that it is two characters long and then i have my next mission is to find that what is the uh, longest palindrome in this remaining part okay so it's pretty simple and if that is not the case and then what i have to do then length is going to be maximum of what lps uh, s comma l plus one comma r comma lps uh, whatever from wherever i get the maximum length lps uh, s comma l comma r minus one so you know then i have to return length return length so this is going to my be my recursive code and just to memoize it i have to make another function vector of uh, vector int dp okay vector of vector int dp and now i have to assign it so how i am gonna assign it as that uh, not a big deal dp dot assign assign vector uh, sorry uh, what is it going to be s dot size comma vector int s dot size uh, comma minus one okay and then uh, so these are this is going to store my additional sub choices additional choices that i am going to make so like here as we know that two parameters are varying that's why it is a 2d vector so i will store the results in this 2d vector dplr is equal to length and you know if if I have solved already solved any sub problem, then what I'm going to do is that if dplr is not equal to minus one, then in that case, I have already solved that problem and I will return dplr. Okay, so, so this is basically my LPS code. Now the problem is that I have to ensure that I am taking whenever I make a palindrome I have to ensure that like the string is coming from uh, like both of the strings like the character is coming from both of the strings so how I ensure is that I make a boundary okay just uh, pay your attention so I make a boundary in x and x what x is going to be for example just let clear everything okay so what x is going to be x uh, this is going to be x okay so what uh, it is going to be that I have to, if I choose a character it should be from both of the sides like if the character is matching so for example ABCBA in ABCBA 
we know that b and b is matching in like uh, b is coming here and b is coming here and here so whenever for example b matches like another b is coming from another string uh, so it should i have to ensure that like it is coming from both the strings like so you know what i am going to do is that i have made this boundary equal to w1 dot size w1 dot size okay and now i am going to pass this and i am going to make another variable called int ans is equal to zero so this answer will store my final result and i am going to return this answer okay so what i am going to do is uh, i am going to pass this x and answer to my lps function and i will write it int uh, what x comma int ans okay so just a small variation i have to do i have to what i have to do is that since s l and s r is matching so for example if you look at this case uh, it's become quite messy uh, for example this case suppose we are here so if sl and sr is matching this is the left part this is the right part then what i have to make sure is that the left part is from the left side of the boundary and right part is from the right side of the boundary and according to this i have to uh, make my uh, result answer okay so i just write this that if uh, i have to only update my answer if what l is less than what x and and r is greater than equal to x then in that case i my answer will be answer will be max of answer comma length okay so you know that's the problem that's the problem for you so basically it was just a very small variation of lps uh, just let me run the code at once so that i have coded it correctly something is missing okay i have to just pass these three arguments also here so just let me copy it control c control v control v and control v so now let's code it uh, let's run it i mean so it is running something is missing something is wrong okay okay so i am getting answer is equal to zero because i have to put answer as the global variable uh, now it is correct uh, okay so it is like 100 percent good okay so just let me uh, ma maximize the code once for you so that i can explain it one more time uh, so what basically i have done is that i have just written the lps code longest palindromic subsequence and then i have like just made made right written this piece of code and this ensured that the answer that i'm getting is i'm getting from both the parts okay so that's the problem for you so just uh, let me do what 12 so you can just have a look at the code and see it so if you have understood the video please subscribe to the channel and thanks and have a nice day